Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a new episode of The Gullip Squad. How are you doing, everybody? The Gully Squad is back in effect. Now, oh, we got a lot to talk about. God damn it, we got a lot to talk about. And so much has happened within two to three weeks in our lifespan that has not happened in American soil. And we are coming to grips with it actually pretty well. I'm going to say we are coming to grips with it pretty well but we have to be honest with ourselves a lot of the goddamn conspiracy theories that we heard throughout the years <laughs> are turning out not to be goddamn conspiracy theories or maybe they were conspiracy theories that became just true reality within two three weeks ladies and gentlemen they have locked down the world spain italy germany china South Korea, America, ooh, America has changed in a drop of a goddamn eye. In a drop of a goddamn eye, America has changed overnight. But I want to say this, we are goddamn resilient in this change. I'm very, I'm very proud of us. And you're not going to hear this from a lot of people, or you have not heard it from a lot of people. A lot, I think we've handled this better than expected. Now, I think our government, oh, I'm going to put that, put that heat in the ass. You're going to get that work. You're going to get that heat. They were lackluster on the response of this coronavirus, the, Wu, the Wuhan virus, or what our president is going to say. It came from China. <laughs> now, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Trump. That motherfucker, you got to give one thing. He's hilarious at sometimes. You may not agree with his goddamn politics. I sure don't. <laughs> but he, he is funny. He said the shit came from China. <laughs> well, it did. As we believe it did. You know, the, shit was probably, the shit was probably made somewhere else and put in China. <laughs> but that's a different story on a different topic. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have definitely been very resilient in our response, I would say, to the coronavirus. I'm seeing people showing their human nature in dealing with this new social norm. God damn it. And I'm very proud of us. I am very proud of Americans. You're not going to hear this. And I haven't heard it from anyone else, but... I'm saying it. I am very proud of our response. Now, of course, there's been a few here and there of individuals who have been um, hoarding goddamn toilet tissue. What the fuck is wrong with you people? Show some goddamn decorum. Show some show some compassion. I saw this one video of this lady. She bought, I, I kid you not, she bought like boxes and boxes and boxes of toilet tissue. She ain't buy anything else. Matter of fact, she had she had her simp ass boyfriend or her husband, whatever the hell he is, just like, come on, March, let's get all the out boxes, and he's putting it on the damn truck, and she's smiling in the camera. Yes, I got, I got, I need toilet. Now, maybe she worked for a nursing home or or she worked for somewhere else, and I'm not picking on this lady. I'm just giving her an example of, you know, the 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 duality of some Americans treating treating um this pandemic and how we're being treating we're treating each other. Now, I put also blame to the store or the store manager or people who worked at the store that should have put limits on how many toilet tissue or toiletries you can get. You got to Come on now, people. Come on. But on the most part, on the most part, Americans are doing well. We're we're handling it well on social media. People are, you know, they're you see they're doing videos that they're working out in the house more. They're spending more time with their children. Well, God damn it. They got to spend more time with their children because their children ain't going to school. <laughs> you you gonna be a parent today today <laughs> out of every day you're forced not to say not to say that uh having children in the house and that's when you become a parent no no, no that's not what i mean i'm saying now many people 
are actually spending time with their children and they look like they're enjoying themselves with their children. They're not enjoying the situation, but they're enjoying that they're spending more time with their children because yes, now society is forcing you to technically spend time more with your children. And I think most Americans want that. Most Americans do want to spend more time with children, but we live in a world that we have to, you know, we have to work. Some people have to work two, three jobs to support. So they're making the best of it. That's the point. They're making the best of it. And it's being seen throughout social media. And that is the representation of goddamn America. We are resilient groups of individuals. We are. And I've seen, I've seen videos of, you know, people passing out food. Of course, they're keeping a goddamn distance. They were like, back, back your ass up. I got this food for you, but I ain't get this coronavirus. <laughs> but they're handing out food. In many states, in many locations, and, and, and then, like I said, it shows, it shows the, the empathy that Americans have for other Americans. Now, that's the good. Oh, that's the good. But goddamn, there is the bad. And the bad, I think, on the most part, is that how we were a little late to the party. Well, not this, not that it was a good party, but we're kind of late to the party of getting things done in, in America. Like we, we should have jumped on the ball early December when we saw all those goddamn videos of Chinese people just lining up the, the hospitals and, 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 and like, like it was like, it was just insane. How many people were just on the ground? We should have took notice and we did know. Let's put it, let's keep it, let's keep it a buck. Let's keep it gully. The government, our government knew what was going on in China? Oh, trust me. Trust me. We knew what was going on. But our administration did not jump on it as quick as it should be. Now, I'm not saying that he's not doing. I am not saying that they are not doing what they're supposed to be doing now. They are. They're putting things in perspective. They're locking things down. Now, some people will say, well, you know, why should they lock everything down? You know, this it's, it's a conspiracy that, you know, this is. This is, this is, you know, this is just another form of martial law. And you might be right. You might be 100% correct. This may be martial light, as I'm going to say, say it, to martial law. I'm going to say that shit one more time so you hear it again. This may be martial light to eventually come into martial law. But to stem a pandemic like this, as they are showing how infectious it is, it has to be quarantined. That's the thing about very uh, infectious diseases like this. Quarantine has to be mandated and mandatory. That's how you stem an, an infection, an, an, a, a widespread infection. Qu- locations have to be quarantined. Groups of individuals have to be quarantined. And I, th- and looking at what's we're, what we're doing now, they're, they're mandating quarant, they're mandating self quarantine throughout the United States. And they're coming out hard with it. You know, California, San Francisco, 24 hour lockdown. Boom. California, lockdown. Boom. Um, New York is about to be 24, if I'm not mistaken now, 24 lockdown as, as of, I think of yesterday. And other few states are, 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 you know, coming along. Philadelphia, uh, Florida, not Florida, not Florida. They're not, there's not a mandated quarantine yet to stem what's happening. So, yes, it probably was a conspiracy that this was going to go down. I saw a movie almost 10 years ago called Contagion. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I went with one of my prepper friends. Uh huh. White boy. And uh, he's like, we got to go watch this movie. I was like, what the fuck is this? Went to go see it. And I was like, God damn, I was, I was blown away t- 10 years ago watching Contagion. I've been telling people to watch that shit for the past couple of weeks. Watch this shit. Watch this shit. What's this movie? Ah. And I watched it again because I remember seeing the movie. And I was like, wait a minute. This is just too much similarities. But I would suggest people watch Contagion. Now, why am I bringing this aspect up? It's because we're being locked down systematically one because yes we do need to quarantine we do we need to quarantine this infection or it will spread 
virally as it already has throughout the nation. That part, all, all the, all the, uh, professionals are all in agreement on how fast this infection is spreading. The, 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 the fact that it's not killing as many people, which is a good thing, and people are recovering, which is a good thing, is being overshadowed of how fast this is becoming is such an infectious, uh, uh, virus. A lot of people are getting, a lot of people are recovering, not as much as in Spain. And this is the thing we, we, we got to pay attention to in Spain and in, in, in Italy. They're dying like they're dying left and right from this thing. But we're not getting that as much in North America. Not yet. Not yet. But the question is, are we handling it correctly now? And I think we are. I think we are handling it correctly as of now. Yes, you're not supposed to be on a goddamn beach. When, when, when there's a virus uh, and a pandemic, not a goddamn epidemic, this is a pandemic. There's a difference. And I understand young people want to party in spring break and all that good stuff, but take your ass home. Take your ass home, young people. There's a reason it's called a pandemic because it's very infectious. So yes, we're, we're handling it better now. Should we have handled it a little bit better? Since the administration should, should have handled it better or quicker. Oh, definitely. Oh, definitely. Now, will martial light, as I call it, become martial law? Now, that's the conspiracy. That's the thing we need to be watching out for, ladies and gentlemen. And that is watching out of what the administration will be doing next in regards of this coronavirus pandemic that's sweeping the nation. Are they going to use this pandemic, this disaster, this this plague upon the nation upon the globe to further their agenda now i cannot answer that i do not have a crystal ball to me to say this is what's going to happen but what i will say for the intelligent people that's out there they will not allow a good pandemic to go to waste i'll repeat what i just said they will not allow a good pandemic to go to waste now what does that mean well if they were going to lock it down for a week or two or three, add a couple of more weeks. If they're going to pass a couple of laws to take away some of your goddamn rights that we're not paying attention to. Oh, best believe some rights are going to be taken away. See, after 9-11 happened, we were such in a frantic mode to get the people who committed that tragedy on American soil that we were willing to give up our uh, our liberties, our civil liberties. And we did. Ooh, the Patriot Act. Good Lord. <laughs> so we can, so we said, okay, to protect us as Americans, we'll give up some fundamental rights. That is going to happen in this case. Like I said, I don't have a crystal ball, but I'm good with history. Ooh, I love history. And I'm good at looking at patterns. And the pattern that I see happening, which is not a conspiracy, is that we're going to probably lose some rights during this martial light process. We may lose some rights after this is all over. Just be prepared. Just be prepared. They're not going to lock down America, which they are, in every state, in every city for months. And when it's all over, it goes back to complete normal. If you believe that, or if you even think that, or if you didn't even think of that, you're hearing it here first. When this is all said and done, we're going to look back and say, God damn it. What happened? Coronavirus happened. The pandemic happened. But in the meantime, I want to salute the great Americans that are keeping their composure. They're making the best out of a bad situation. Americans are showing what Americans are made of. Americans are good people. We're a strong nation. We're a resilient nation. And like other tragedies that's happened to us in America, we will overcome it. On that note, I bid you peace. 
On that note, family, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Support the Gully Squad at patreon.com. And remember, we are one.